Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, today we're going to be looking at a very, very simple question and I'll go through to explain how you can do this particular thing. And the question has to do with how can you actually add transitions in twin motion. So, I'll go through and show you guys about two different ways you can add you know transitions both in twin motion and outside twin motion so just stick around so that you can find out how you can do this meanwhile before we get going with this the scene that i'm working with is made possible by our friends at shared texture so shared texture uh the guys at shared texture they have 3d models that you can get they also have like well set up models that you can also get and pre set up models that you can get so if you're working with twin motion or let's say you're working with lumion yes of course they have these things and you can go ahead and check it link is going to be in the description so you can get this thing so they have actually gone ahead to make this scene possible for us and you know link where you can download this is also going to be available so before we actually get started you guys know how much I like my clouds, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of clouds there. And right now, you notice that we don't have any uh, reflections, so I'm just going to get a reflection probe. You know, I kind of like the reflection probes too, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that there. Okay, so that we can, we can have a little bit of reflection happening. Let's look around. Okay, looks way better now. And I think I'm going to make a copy of this. I think I'm going to make a copy of this and i'm just going to go ahead and make a copy and just keep that there definitely i may probably not use this part but you know just in case who knows all right so now i have this here uh i would like to make a couple of clip movements so your clip movement is more like how you want the clips to be so the question that was asked is if you have way more than one clip or you have multiple clips how can you go ahead and make transitions so what we'll do first is we're going to go over to this section where we have media videos and create so for this create already the guys at uh shared text show have already made something so i'm just going to click the plus sign just to add this so if we go over and you know press the D key I can move to a certain point like this and just make sure I have that and simply refresh this so you can see the clip length is here and if I go ahead and press the playback button we have this animation that plays through over to this point so if you have anything that you want or any changes that you want from here to the other side you can go ahead and do those changes that include maybe how you want the lighting to look like all right so how you want the lighting to look like you can go ahead and change that if you also want to make changes on how you want the weather to look like so if you want the clouds to move a little bit more yeah you can also go ahead and change those before you get started so with this ready to go i'm going to uh, select these and you know press the playback so you can see what we have so this is what the guys at shared texture have made available and also this is something else that we have directly here so with these two things happening here we can now go over back to the video go to the section where we have edit click on the plus button and then we can just come over click the clips drag and drop here and also drag and drop the second one so now i have this second uh, now i have these two clips here if i go over and press the playback button we can have this which is the first one and then we can have this which is the second one so probably what you want to do is you want to have a movement that or you want to have a transition that goes all the way from here to this other side so just to illustrate how this works in twin motion what you have to do is click on this button and you can choose if you want it to fade to black or if you want it to fade to white so if we use the black fade what we have is from here if i press the playback button you're going to get a black fade to the other one the fading seems to be a bit quick so i mean there's just nothing that much that we can do about that right now but then if i switch over to this one you will definitely see that we're going to have a white fade okay so we can have a white fade from here to the other side now if you want to do this in a different software there is a couple of free softwares i can suggest that you can use but first and foremost you need to export these clips individually and that way you can you know go over and combine these clips in these editing apps if you want to get these clips out so that you can edit them somewhere totally different what i would suggest is go over to the section where you have the export click here and instead of selecting movie select clip one 
and also clip two. With this selected, always go over to this point where you have more, make sure you have the maximum reflection turned on and also the maximum light turned on. And for those guys that are asking the frame rate, this is where you definitely go ahead and change the frame rate, guys. And with that done, you can also switch here. If you want to get a 3D video, a 360 video, a standard video, you can check that. Right now we're going for something way more standard and with that done all you have to do is you know go over here and simply hit the word export so once you have those things downloaded you can come over to the website and yeah from, so from here you will be able to download the open shot which is available for mac windows and also you know linux and you can you know make use of this so what we're going to do is to go ahead and fire up this and get all of what we have rendered directly here so the other software which we're going to use is resolve which i'm going to also show you how you can get it and how you can work with it open shot is way better if you don't want to get into the technicalities or if you just you know you just want to get your stuff ready and out so what you can do here is from here you can import the clips that you want to work with so we have these clips rendered and i'm just going to simply select them and drag them right inside here and drop them so with them dragged and dropped directly inside here and what i actually did was after rendering it i decided to convert it to mov files yours will definitely be an mp4 file and you can use it for whatever thing that you want so i can drag one here and also drag the other one and place it alongside you can actually put them in between like this depending on how much stuff that you want so if you want to add some effects you can you know bring in some effects and add if you want to add some transitions you can bring in some transitions if you want to add images directly you want to work with audios they get live here and you can see where the videos actually live so for the title you may want to add titles and you can simply click here so with this here you can actually go ahead and add whatever title that you want these are very like very basic stuff so you can actually download this and check this out but we are looking at how you can add transitions so from here you can see that we have this tiny button called transition and you can choose either of this trans whichever transition that you want so if i want a transition that is a simple fade i can just pick and drag and drop and also change you know how much of this thing i want use the slider to zoom in if you want and you know i can you know position it here and right about this point if we go ahead and press the playback button we're going to have a smooth play and then you can see that transition this might not render properly because of the recording software we're using so it's definitely going to take some time but then of course you can see that we can control how much time or how much of this thing we want so you can play with these ones and see how they work next off is resolve so if you want to get the vinci resolve we already covered a tutorial about this one so if you want to get DaVinci Resolve, you can come over to the website, theblackmagicdesign.com. Link to where you can find this is also going to be in the description and you can get, you know, DaVinci Resolve 16 or whatever version that's available at the point which you're watching this, you can get it for free. So Resolve is free. You can use it for, you know, very powerful stuff. And it's a very, very powerful, you know, editing program. If you want to do the whole color grading, I would actually put a link to the other video so you guys can check out what you can do in case you want to change certain things after your rendering yeah so once you come over to the website here you would see the download button right at the top here and once you click it it will take you over to the page where you can download the free version and you can use it so let me just actually pop uh, resolve directly onto this screen so that you guys can see and what we can do is we can also get those clips that we actually rendered earlier and i can throw them directly here and say do not change the frame rate and with resolve you can simply click drag and drop you can see from here we have the timeline and i can also do the same thing click drag and drop so from this point i can increase this as much as i want and you can see that quick cut that we're having here but because we want to have a dissolve to it a cross dissolve depending on what you want to get you can actually find all of the video transitions that you want from here so directly here in dissolve you can choose to drag you know drag this and position this wherever you want and that could work there's also other ways that you can do it really simple you can also simply you know click and drag the time uh, head here or the note that you have here and you can also do the same thing here and this way you can have a much more quicker you know uh fade in and fade out so once we go ahead and play this through you can see we can have this you know cool fade in and fade out and at the same time 
you can also choose to have like a fade out somewhere around here and you can also choose to have a fade in uh, around here these clips you have here you can choose to separate them have them at different points like at this point i can still you know pick the cross dissolve and drop it at this point you can go ahead and select the cross dissolve at any point in time that you want you can also choose to get different kinds of styles that you want from here at the same time while you're still doing this you can choose what uh, kind of ease that you want and you know you can still you know plug these things together and get some very desirable results and just like we saw on the open shot you can also increase or reduce how much of the crosses of that you want to get and once you play back this you can have that you can also increase this so let's see what we have here and you can have some much more you know smoother stuff happening directly in your scene and yeah this is about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section have you actually tried doing the whole transition thing is this tutorial helpful which of the softwares have you used before do you want me to cover more on the softwares that i just talked about so if you want me to talk more about the open shot or if you want me to talk more about you know the resolve tell me about these things in the comment section we have an entire playlist dedicated to twin motion from beginner all the way to the free frequently asked questions as intermediates and professionals you can go ahead and check those out and learn a little bit more so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and if this video is in any way helpful to you go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button check out the other videos and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video or the next update the minute it drops and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update Free Friday, Tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.